This week's BFI Player Plus choice is a fantastical British classic from 1984, a modern fairy tale co-written by Angela Carter from tales in her seminal Bloody Chamber collection, The Company of Wolves. A wolf may be more than he seems. He may come in many disguises. What's that? The wolf that ate your sister was hairy on the outside, but when she died, she went straight to heaven. The worst kind of wolves are hairy on the inside, and when they bite you, they drag you with them to hell. A treasure trove of tales within tales, the Company of Wolves builds upon Carter's 1980 radio adaptation of her written source to provide a visually rich and boldly psychosexual reworking of a string of familiar myths and legends, most notably the tale of Little Red Riding Hood. Directed by Neil Jordan, who'd made a splash with Angel and would go on to direct The Crying Game and Interview with a Vampire, The Company of Wolves was shot on lavish sets at Shepperton Studios. Lavish despite the fact that budgetary constraints meant that they had to construct an entire forest out of around 12 trees. Anton First's production designs make the most of limited resources, while special effects whiz Chris Tucker, who'd worked with David Lynch on The Elephant Man, came up with the film's now iconic animatronic effects. <laughs> According to producer Stephen Woolley, he first tried to interest Channel 4 in funding the Company of Wolves, but they hated the script, which they found a vulgar, rather bloody and not particularly appealing thing. Instead, he turned to ITC, who proved surprisingly interested in funding the Palace Pictures production, which wound up costing around £2 million. <laughs> The result, which was pitched somewhere between art house tract and exploitation horror movie, drew mixed responses from some baffled critics, but proved an enduring audience favourite. Today it's become a timeless classic, which is studied by film scholars and adored by film fans alike. If you like your fairy tales to have teeth, then this is the film for you.